Where am I? In the village. What do you want? Information. You won't get it. By hook or by crook, we shall. Who are you? I am number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. I will not be pushed, filed, stamped, briefed, debriefed or numbered. My life is my own. <laughs> Welcome to the village. This is Port Miriam and it was a village created by Clough Williams Ellis and the construction was started in 1926 and lasted all the way through to 1975 and I'm pretty sure that had he survived longer maybe that's when he passed away but this is the reason I'm here today Patrick McGowan starred as the prisoner and the series was filmed, it was a cult series in the 1960s, but still has a cult following today. So we walk up here, what I thought I might do is take in a few of the filming locations for, for, the, for the series. It's really fascinating, unlike my Strawberry Fields video, where I think I only had three locations. The Prisoner was filmed mostly here. There were a few segments where he was in Westminster, where he lived in, in, in his house and certainly in the studios, but all the external shots from the village, everything is here. There's his house, number six's house. <laughs> and how deceptive is that? Because the door's just the other side of the green balcony there, and that's it. But on the set, you come in the front door, and then he's got the whole house. But there's nothing there. Let's take a walk around there. Yeah, um, oh, there's the town hall down there. There's the chess set. There's the village square. We need to visit all of these things. Let's have a look at, let's go around to the front door of his house. I think it's now the number six shop. Might even buy a souvenir. <laughs> and yes, it's raining. That's the prisoner shop. Look, there's his front door. So yeah, when he first comes, oh, I know, I remember, he comes into the village and he's got this little shop in here where he goes to buy a map. And he wants a, a larger map. <laughs> the guy gives him one in colour. <laughs> Meet me at the Green Dome. Residence only, so we can't go up there. Do you remember the episode with the bomb in the in the, the mayor's medallion thing. And the sniper up the top there. Number two's, number six's house, number two's house. The band played on. It really has a distinct European feel about it. And of course, why wouldn't it? It's um, designed it with a Mediterranean feel. A little bit of the med here in North Wales. Cinematography is a funny thing because it, it, it looks so small but actually when it's on screen they take different angle pictures so like where I'm walking now is where he was ostracized and he's walking up and no one's saying hello to him and you think that's you know a far, a far away in the village but it's just behind his house there and you've got this, this it, it looks so small compared to on the screen. <laughs> and it's all in the same place. So there's where the bandstand played. And I think where he was testing out who was, who was a, a prisoner and who was a master by challenging the guy who was doing the pruning. And they had the CCTV camera set up there. Here they played chess. And beyond the chessboard is the the square. Here's a little scene of the um, the people on the square with all their brollies and having a jolly time. I wonder if they filmed bits and bobs here. You know where he's doing the art with the general. 
but certainly up there he was stood where he was um what was he doing he was hoping to be number two wasn't he challenging to be the new number two oh yeah so many great actors in that show i've watched it time and time again and the thing with it is that it the acting is so good that it really sucks you in you know you don't any for any minute think oh come on you're just you're just being silly in this acting and leo mckern was said to have called patrick mcgoohan right bastard because on the final two episode fallout where he's in trying to break number six and they're doing the classroom scenes and everything like that apparently leo mccann said it's so intense that he himself nearly had a breakdown and you can see that in the um in the episode because it's just the two of them with the the servant and many people have said that um the prisoner was a spin-off from patrick mcgoon's other 60s black and white spy series called danger man and you could be forgiven for actually thinking yeah it is the um kind of sequel it's where danger man left off i've not seen any episodes of danger man i think down here somewhere is the boat so where how do i get down there i've got to walk down these stairs let's do it because down here is where they did all the filming for the scenes for the boat and the helicopter arriving rover and of course the beach where we would do lots of running and they'd have the funeral portage for um cobb when he died so yeah the helicopter landed down there the boat is around the corner so i'm gonna have to walk up and then come down this footpath here down to the hotel yeah, so what Patrick McGoon did, he wrote this series and the prisoner represents every man. So it's one man against the system, it's you, it's me, it's all of us trying to be unique and individual but the system wants us to conform. So when you think of that and you watch the episode you see the allegory of his fight to try and remain unique against the system. Here's the town hall. Ah, there's the boat. I see it. Down here, let's go down. I think I can walk up behind me here, past the town hall. We'll do that when we come back up. Quite spectacular from here. <laughs> it was quite, kind of funny. Again, the magic of cinema. Have a look at this um, vista, and you've got Snowdonia National Park in the background. How would they have hidden the houses in the cinematography? It's all very clever in the aspects, but you're made to believe that he's somewhere other than the UK. Had he just, you know, waited for low tide, he could run across, right? Got into whatever the town is on the other side there. Hollock's just down the road. And here's the boat. And you can sail it and not even get seasick. And just above me there is where the hotel was. And where he played chess with the, um, the old major as well as challenge number 14. Do you remember number 14 who was administering those three drugs A, B and C? I think there was a, um, only one scene filmed on the boat wasn't there? Where he was getting the transmitter and that was the episode where he had to determine who were the prisoners and who were the wardens some of the wardens were behaving or pretended to be prisoners and he was in the end he, he was so convincing he convinced the other prisoners that he was a warden oh dear fooled by his own strategy well 
Isn't that a lovely view? I think rather than walk up the hill, I'm going to walk along this seafront terrace. I think this is where the swimming pool used to be. Seems like they've had a bit of a regeneration. <laughs> I'm just thinking, I thought this would be a quick route. I'm going to walk back up that hill, but I have to go back that way because I need to see the high street, you know, the village high street. Oh, I see where I am. This comes out where he did the transmitter. And we're heading back into the village. I think what we'll do is head up to number twos and have a confrontation. <laughs> Meet me at the Green Dome. Good morning to you. I hope you slept well. Come and join me for breakfast. Number two, the Green Dome. So see how close everything is. You've got the bell tower. You've got the little shop. You've got his house just around there. You've got number two <laughs> right next door. You've got the village square. We've got the town hall down the end of this footpath here. Let's go and stand up here, see if we can get a good aspect of everything. There we go. Number two's house, town hall, chessboard, the pavilion for the band here. And you can just make out in the distance there where we ran for the new number two. This was the parade where you had the um, rover coming up the hill and everyone stood still except for that old man. And also the first taxi that he took, came zooming up here. Two units.
bell tower. And the square. Hmm, I wonder. I'm looking here. The way the town hall is down there, it's very clever cinematography because the town hall is down there. But I always thought the town hall was behind where they stood, you know, saying they would be the new number two. What episode was that? I'll put it here. This must be the little cafe where he first tries to buy a coffee. But he doesn't have any units. So there were some places that were obviously filmed off-site because in the general there's a, a cafe stroke restaurant where they're um, having their coffees but I don't see that around here anywhere. Ice cream. Ice cream, two units. <laughs> Wouldn't be good <laughs> if you had it in units. I almost want to relive each and every episode and just re-narrate all of it but it all becomes a muddle. I think I'm going to have to go and watch the whole thing again. So who is number two? Who is number one? You are number six. And that is the wonder of television. They can make this front door appear somewhere completely different. It's just an illusion. So I've got myself a little souvenir. I thought rather than a typical mug that says, I'm not a number, I'm a free man, or any of that kind of stuff, I just thought, especially what did be seeing you. That's kind of the, if you if you are a true prisoner, aficiando, is that the word? Aficiana? So if you, you, know, you know what I mean, fan of. Then you would understand be seeing you. So what I would say is, um, it, I've, it's been a bit of a strange one this because I'm kind of in awe of being here but at least I got here and at least I did a few of the, the, the locations so if you're a fan of The Prisoner then hopefully this kind of has relived it a little bit for you <laughs> a little bit of hodgepodge but hey ho so thanks for watching, bearing with give the video a like and subscribe and <laughs> I'm going to say I'll see you in another video. Bye for now. But I want to go be seeing you. Or is it be seeing you? Or is it be seeing you? It's just be seeing you. What happened? The amnesia case, sir. Cobb, he's jumped out of the window. He's dead.